Tonight, a bloody war on wolves as Idaho announces a deadly campaign to kill these innocent animals. I warn you, the video's graphic. Some, we can't even show it on TV. Dogs like my little Foxy here and your dogs at home count the wolves as their ancestors. Wolves like the ones you see here being ruthlessly hunted and killed. Again. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> that sucker uh, got dead go wolf, home. folks. Yeah. yeah, they're laughing. Idaho Governor C.L. Otter just signed what they euphemistically call a wolf control bill, creating a board of people who oversee the slaughter of wolves using hundreds of thousands of tax dollars. The board is stacked with ranchers and hunters who want to get rid of the wolves once and for all. But there's nobody on the board who represents conservationists or wolf advocates. Who is speaking up for these defenseless creatures who cannot speak for themselves? This group is a hit squad. They aim to demonize wolves, describing them as vermin, trying to terrify people in order to justify the killings. Three years ago, wolves were taken off the endangered species list. And since then, 1,600 wolves have been slaughtered in hunts in Idaho and Montana alone. Today, only about 650 wolves remain. But for how much longer? Look at these beautiful creatures. Instead of killing wolves, why not use non-lethal options like fencing or range riders to separate cattle from these natural predators? Critics ask, why are tax dollars being used to protect the private cattle industry? Straight out to Don Barry, Senior Vice President, Conservation Programs for Defenders of Wildlife. Don, describe the horror of what's happening now to these wolves. Well, as you said, Idaho has launched a war on wolves, and it's one of the most reckless and irresponsible wildlife management programs I've seen in the last 40 years. When wolves were delisted, the Idaho promised the Fish and Wildlife Service two things. One, that they would manage wolves exactly the way they manage other wildlife, and that they would keep the populations um, healthy and large, around the 500, 600, 700 range. What's happened, though, now is that um, under Butch Otter's new, uh, what I call the Wolf Extermination Board, their goal is to drive wolves all the way on down to about 150, an 80 percent reduction in the number of wolves in the state of Idaho. And this is just unbelievable. Um, it, it's disgusting. Now, we reached out to Governor Otto for comment, have not heard back. Critics of the bill continue to fight for wolves. Uh, many are facing roadblocks from the folks who live there. That's the governor who's in charge of all this. Listen to this. It is really a way, a way of life. If you look up the definition of murder, it's defined in human terms, not in animal terms. I don't think killing should be a way of life. Uh, critics who say those who want to wipe out these wolves are basically upset that wolves prey on elk, and they'd rather have the elk alive so they can shoot and kill them themselves. So they're slaughtering the wolves so they can turn around and kill the elk too. That's a lot of killing. What can well, we do to stop it? Well, there are a number of things people can do to stop this, I think. One is to um, for people to contact Butch Otter in the state of Idaho and let them know that they strongly disagree with this policy. More importantly, though, I think we need to start putting additional pressure on federal officials like Tom Vilsack, the secretary of the Department of Agriculture. He oversees this one obscure federal agency called Wildlife Services, which basically provides the hired gunmen or the hired hitmen for the state of Idaho. So what you have are federal employees that are hired out to the state of Idaho to go in and an aerial gunning from helicopters shoot wolves in the wintertime. They had one secret group of uh, Wildlife Service agents come in a couple of months ago into Idaho from Montana, and they ended up killing 23 wolves. And the other thing you need to know is that a lot of these wolf packs, most of these wolf packs, have collared animals in them. And so it's very easy for a gunman, a federal gunman or a state gunman, to track the wolves because they just follow their collared wolves in the pack and they kill them. The other thing that's really tragic about this is that wolves are very, have very complex pack structures. And so if you kill the dominant breeding female or male, you've really destroyed the integrity of the pack. And what Idaho has done just in the last few years is reduce the number of breeding pairs in Idaho by close to 59 to 60 percent. And just in the last year, they reduced the number of breeding pairs by 43 percent. So what this is doing is setting in motion a free fall in the population of wolves. So in addition these, to these in, animals in, cannot speak for themselves. Where's the Obama administration on this? Why does wildlife services even exist anymore? It's well, a hit squad that's wiping out wildlife all across the American West. I mean, well, it's unnecessary. Why, it, why create an Endangered Species Act and introduce these wolves 
in the first place and put collars on them and spend all this taxpayer money reintroducing them if you're just going to slaughter them and commit an extermination of these animals a couple of years later. Thank you. Join Defenders.org. Get involved. These wolves can't speak for themselves.